Greetings, weird and wonderful interwebs. It is I, David, least fit of probably the nerds, certainly of the Hewlett, stepping on things as I talk to you in the chaos that is my lab. I move things around a little bit because I wanted to show off a few things, if you know what I mean. Um, so this, as uh, some of you probably already know, is a burn and learn. This is my bid to stay alive and fit long enough to raise my amazing son and to enjoy the coming twilight years of my brilliant, beautiful wife, Jane. I hate exercise. It's boring, so I like to learn something while I'm doing it, and I like to share what I've learned with you in the sweatiest, most miserable way possible, thus guilting myself into continued exercise on the torture device. So today, I did a full 66 minutes um, at the lower five setting that is working beautifully for me. I am not going to try to kill myself, I've decided, because uh, there's definitely a repetitive issue to this. Like, as you're doing it, if you do it every day, I find I start getting creaks and groans and all the in my joints and stuff. So I'm doing it every other day. And then my wife has got me trying yoga, which, oh, I used to laugh at yoga. But anyways, now I will be laughed at because uh, Jane has got me doing some stuff. I cannot get over how painful it is the next day. Like, I just can't believe that all these little stretches and moves and stuff are actually doing something. But I'm, I'm kind of amazed. I may be converted to the love, not the love, but to the appreciation of yoga. I will never appreciate exercise in any way, shape, or form. I understand it, but I don't have to like it. Uh, so that's, I've tried to be doing sort of like one day of uh, burn and learns, one day of yoga, um, and we'll see how long until I fail that. Um, it's really up and down. I find I'm just like, some days I'm incredibly productive. I get tons of stuff done. Other days I'm just like totally down in the dumps and I just can't, I can't get stuff done. Um, you know, I was talking to a friend of mine the other day who wrote like five freaking books before the coronavirus and is now beating himself up because he's not being as productive as he should be now that he's in lockdown. And I was like, dude, you've already done your coronavirus work. Like you five freaking books. Um, Tales from the Haunted Library. Check it out. I'll put a link in the bottom because you got this guy's, this guy's stuff is so good. He's so great. I make, um, I had to start like scheduling um, uh, you know, coffees with him because I missed my Waldorf and Statler time with him. We just sit there, grumpy old men, and just chat. And uh, so I've been doing, I've been doing um, sort of telephone versions of that because we're we're too old for Zoom. So, anyways, um, point being is, uh, whoa, that is the front door, which means deliveries have arrived, and we're all gonna completely avoid them until. The virus has died on them. Anyways, point being, um, uh, uh, the learn, part of my learn today, I've been working on Cinema 4D. This is the new revision, the R21 version. Um, so I'm going through the tutorial that teaches me all about the new things and how it all works now in Cinema 4D. I feel a little guilty using such a lovely sort of, um, you know, for money software when there's when there's things like Blender out there. But my friends at Cinema 4D gave me a copy and it's just so great. Um, and it's just so lovely to have that access. And so I'm, I'm, I've given in and I'm playing with Cinema 4D. I love it. Um, and uh, I've been really fortunate, actually. There's been a few things I'm going to call it. So first off, DStat for his amazing Patreon contributions and his and his um, and his help with uh, with parts and stuff. So it's a huge thanks to DStat. Sane Smart have sent me this incredible little CNC. That, excuse me, that I've started building, um, and uh, it's actually going really well. Like the instructions are very clear. It's solid. Like it's a little tank. Um, and uh, I'm going to do the wiring probably today and tomorrow so that we'll be ready to um, impress my tech bandits on Friday. Today I have the PC Gaming Bandits, um, which is sort of my crew of, uh, of kids who really, they don't really care about the science. They want to talk gaming and I want to try to figure out how to make that gaming a, a healthy, possibly learning, possibly contagiously curious event for them um, and get them into some sort of lifelong learning via gaming. So that's been great. I got kids from for the UK now, from um, LA, kids in Toronto, just kids who just, this is their lives. And I mean, there's no, instead of fighting it, I want to like have a place for them to go where they feel like they can talk about this and do this stuff and 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 as I say maybe learn something in the process because it's amazing you know you can't get these kids to to put you know anything down on paper or read anything in many cases until you start talking PC gaming and then they show up with like spreadsheets and stuff so not my son yet but he's definitely he's, he's definitely taken an interest now he's inviting friends from um, from England and stuff to join us which is kind of fun um, in fact he's invited the only the only ladies to this club um, so far so um, uh, I really do want to make it more of a of a of a uh, of a mix because I worry that it's just all it's all boys. But it seems that um, definitely the guys, the, the younger guys, they get maybe the older ones too. They just they're really they're stuck on this stuff. I mean, this is their lives. Um, so I want to see how we can sort of 
turn that into some cool skills like communication skills and, and business skills and marketing skills and maybe even some programming skills. And then I've also been given, I can't believe it, penitesterlab.com, uh, who um, Lewis there, or Louis, uh, who is a friend of Matthew, who I met by doing the Code Cadets with the Canberra Grammar School in um, uh, um, in, in Canberra in, in Australia. Um, I was very you know, fortunate enough to talk to them. He set me up with a whole set of this of this, t- these teaching tools, I haven't actually played with them yet, but these teaching tools for teaching hacking to kids, like white hat hacking. So hacking for good, learning how to do this stuff and, and you know, get like you get some really good jobs doing this stuff. So um, who knows, maybe that's where I'll end up. Um, but, uh, but I'm gonna be taking it with the kids, so I'll be learning as we go along and I'll, I'll try to document that as much as possible. My big thing right now is just trying to figure out how to get all these things that I'm doing out to you. How do I, how do I share this stuff? Um, and uh, and I, I've been trying to do little newsletters and stuff, and I'm wondering if maybe maybe video is the way to do it. Maybe this is the way to do it. Maybe a little less sweaty, a little more formal perhaps, but um, that's what I'm working on right now. So I'm going to go and uh, prepare myself for my my uh, little Brady Bunch windows of, uh, of PC gaming joy coming up uh, during our lunch. And uh, until we geek again, sweat or not, here I come. Cheerio! Be safe! <laughs> <laughs>